Hello students! Welcome to Math and Magic. For this video, I will discuss factoring of polynomials, particularly the common monomial factors and factors of difference of two squares. To describe, factoring polynomials is the reverse process of multiplying polynomials. When a polynomial is factored, it is written as a product of two or more prime factors. Also, to simplify the understanding of factoring process, it is important that you know the concept of special products. So if you are new here, I suggest that you will watch this video. Now to begin with, let's have the common monomial factor. In this factoring method, we first identify the GCF of the polynomial. GCF, or the greatest common factor, is the largest integer, monomial, or multinomial that a set of polynomials have in common. As an example, factor completely the binomial 4x squared minus 8x. Here, the first thing that you need to do is to identify the GCF. Looking at the numerical coefficients 4 and 8, both are divisible by 4. Take note that we need to get the highest integral factor. And then for the variables, x squared and x, both terms are divisible by x. So that is the highest factor of the variable. Thus, the term 4x is the greatest common factor. Now after knowing the GCF, we will divide each term of the polynomial by this. 4x squared divided by 4x, 4 divided by 4 is 1, x squared divided by x is x. So quotient of the first term and GCF is x. For the second term, negative 8x divided by 4x, negative 8 divided by 4 is negative 2, x divided by x is 1. So negative 2 times 1 is simply negative 2. Now the quotient of the second term and the GCF is negative 2. Lastly, we will rewrite each quotient as a group and then expressing it as a product of the GCF. So factors now are 4x and quantity x minus 2. For our second example, factor completely the algebraic expression 8x raised to 5 minus 16x raised to 6 plus 48x raised to 7. So following the previous procedure, we first need to determine the GCF. For the numerical coefficients 8, negative 16, and 48, the highest number that can divide the 3 is 8. So for the variables x raised to 5, x raised to 6, and x raised to 7, the greatest factor is x raised to 5. Thus, multiplying 8 and x raised to 5, the GCF is 8x raised to the fifth. Since GCF is known, we will now proceed to dividing each term. 8x raised to 5 divided by 8x raised to 5 is 1. Negative 16x raised to the sixth divided by 8x raised to the fifth. Negative 16 divided by 8 is negative 2. x raised to 6 divided by x raised to 5 is x. Thus, the quotient here is negative 2x. For the second term, 48x raised to 7 divided by 8x raised to 5th. 48 divided by 8 is positive 6. x raised to 7 divided by x raised to 5 is x squared. Hence, the quotient is 6x squared. Next, we will rewrite each quotient as a group and then multiply it by the GCF. Prime factors now are 8x raised to 5th times quantity 1 minus 2x plus 6x squared. You may also express this as 8x raised to 5 times quantity 6x squared minus 2x plus 1. Third example, factor the expression 45x cubed y squared plus 75x cubed y cubed minus 30xy raised to 4. So as you can see, there are two variables, x and y, used in this particular example. Don't worry, the process will just be the same, 
but expect that the GCF will have x and y. So for the numerical coefficients, 45, 75, and negative 30, the GCF is 15. For variable x, we have x cubed, x cubed, and x. Obviously, the common factor here is x since that variable has the lowest exponent. For variable y, we have y squared, y cubed, and y raised to 4. Again, the term with the lowest exponent is the common factor. And here, that is y squared. Now, multiply all the common factors, 15x and y squared. GCF now is 15xy squared. After that, we will proceed to dividing each term. 45x cubed y squared divided by 15xy squared. 45 divided by 15 is 3. x cubed divided by x is x squared. Then y squared will be cancelled out. Thus, the quotient here is 3x squared. For 75x cubed y cubed divided by 15xy squared, 75 divided by 15 is 5. x cubed divided by x is x squared. y cubed divided by y squared is y. Thus, the quotient is 5x squared y. And for the last term, negative 30xy raised to 4 divided by 15xy squared Negative 30 divided by 15 is negative 2. X variable will be cancelled out. Y raised to 4 divided by Y squared is Y squared. Hence, the quotient is negative 2 Y squared. Expressing these quotients as a group will be quantity 3X squared plus 5X squared Y minus 2Y squared. Therefore, factors are 15XY squared times the quantity 3x squared plus 5x squared y minus 2y squared. For our last example, the area of a trapezoid is 1 half AH plus 1 half BH. Express the area as the product of two factors. Observe that in the binomial, the numerical coefficient 1 half and H are common to both terms. Thus, 1 half h will be our GCF. So, dividing each term by the binomial 1 half h, quotient are a and b. Expressing those as a factor, we have 1 half h times quantity a plus b. So, which is the formula for the area of a trapezoid? After discussing common monomial factors, we will now proceed to factors of difference of two terms. Here, you only need to remember two things. First, get the principal root or the positive root of each term. And second, express the roots of each term as a sum and a difference. As an example, determine the factors of x squared minus 25. Again, we will get the positive square root of each term. Square root of x squared is x. Square root of 25 is 5. Now we will express these roots as a sum and a difference. Hence, the factors of x squared minus 25 are quantity x plus 5 and quantity x minus 5. Second example, determine the factors of 4x squared minus 16y squared. So getting the square root of 4x squared, that will be 2x. For 16y squared, square root of 16 is 4, square root of y squared is y. So thus, the square root of 16y squared is 4y. Now we will express each term as a sum and difference. Factors now will be 2x plus 4y and 2x minus 4y. For our next example, we will use both common monomial and difference of two squares to factor completely the binomial 18a cubed minus 72ab squared. So, doing the procedure for common monomial factors, we need to determine first the GCF. 18 and 72 has a common factor of 18. A cubed and A has a common factor of A. Thus, the GCF here is 18a. 
Now, dividing each term by 18a, 18a cubed divided by 18a, that is a squared. Negative 72ab squared divided by 18a, negative 72 divided by 18 is negative 4. Variable a will be cancelled out, and then simply copy b squared. Factors now are 18a and quantity a squared minus 4b squared. Observe that the binomial a squared minus 4b squared is a difference of 2 squares. Applying the steps in factoring difference of 2 squares, we will get the positive square root of each term. Square root of a squared is a. Square root of 4b squared is 2b. Expressing the roots as a sum and difference. Hence, the prime factors of 18a cubed minus 72ab squared are 18a times quantity a plus 2b times quantity a minus 2b. Thank you for watching. God bless.